Item SCP-96, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-96, is to be contained in its cell, a 5MX5, MX5, M airtight steel cube, at all times. Weekly checks for any cracks or holes are mandatory. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP-96's cell. Security personnel will use pre-installed pressure sensors and laser detectors to ensure SCP-96's presence inside the cell. Any and all photos, video, or recordings of SCP-96's likeness are strictly forbidden without approval from Dr. Redacted and Off of Redacted. Description SCP-96 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters in height. Subject shows very little muscle mass, with preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. Arms are grossly out of proportion with the rest of the subject's body, with an approximate length of 1.5 meters each. Skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation, with no sign of any body hair. SCP-96's jaw can open to for four times the norm of an average human. Other facial features remain similar to an average human, with the exception of the eyes, which are also devoid of pigmentation. It is not yet known whether SCP-96 is blind or not. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions, and is not considered to be sapient. SCP-96 is normally extremely docile, with pressure sensors inside its cell indicating it spends most of the day pacing by the eastern wall. However, when someone views SCP-96's face, whether it be directly via video recording, or even a photograph, it will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. SCP-96 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. Approximately 1-1 one, one to 2-2 two, two minutes after the first viewing, SCP-96 will begin running to the person who viewed its face who will from this point on be referred to as SCP-96-1. Documented speeds have varied from 35-35 Kemhi Oni to redacted Kemhi Oni, and seems to depend on distance from SCP-96-1. At this point, no known material or method can impede SCP-96's progress. The actual position of SCP-96-1 does not seem to affect SCP-96's response. It seems to have an innate sense of SCP-96-1's location. Note, this reaction does not occur when viewing artistic depictions see document 96-1. Upon arriving at SCP-96-1's location, SCP-96 will proceed to kill and data expunged SCP-96-1. 100 of cases have left no traces of SCP-96-1. SCP-96 will then sit down for several minutes before regaining its composure and becoming docile once again. It will then attempt to make its way back to its natural habitat, data, redacted, due to the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including breach of foundation secrecy and large civilian loss of life, retrieval of subject, should be considered alpha a priority. Dr. Redacted has also petitioned for immediate termination of SCP-96, see Interview 96-1. Order is awaiting approval. Termination order has been approved and is to be carried out by Dr. Redacted on data redacted. See Incident 96-1-a. Audio log from Interview 96-1. Interviewer, Dr. Redacted interviewed, Captain Rett. Redacted Redacted, former commander of retrieval team Zulu Niner at Revel Incident 96-1-a. Begin log, Redacted Redacted time, Research area redacted, Captain redacted redacted, it always sucks ass to get initial retrieval duty. You have no idea what the damn thing is capable of besides what jacked up information the field techies can scrape up, and you are lucky if they even tell you the whole story. They told us to bag and tag. Didn't tell us jack shit about not looking at the damn thing. Dr. Redacted, could you describe the mission, please? Captain redacted redacted, yes, yeah, sorry. We had two choppers, one with my team, and one on backup with Zulu 9B and Dr. Redacted. We spotted the target about two clicks north of our patrol path. I'm guessing he wasn't facing our direction, else he would have taken us out then and there. Dr. Redacted, your report says SCP-96 didn't react to the cold. It was redacted OC. Captain Redacted Redacted, actually it was redacted. And yes, it was but naked and didn't so much as shiver. Anyway, we landed, approached the target, and Corporal Redacted got ready to bag it. That's when Dr. Redacted called. I turned to answer it, and that's what saved me. The target must have turned and my whole squad saw it. Dr. Redacted, that's when SCP-96 entered an agitated emotional state. Captain Redacted Redacted, yep. Interviewed now pauses for a second before continuing, sorry. Got the willies for a second. Dr. Redacted, that's all right. Captain Redacted Redacted, yeah, well, I never saw its face. My squad did, and they paid for it up the ass. Dr. Redacted, could you describe it a little more, please? Captain Redacted Redacted, pauses, yeah, yeah. It started screaming at us and crying. Not animal roaring, though. Sounded exactly like a person. Really fucking creepy. 
pauses again we started firing when it picked up corporal redacted and ripped off his leg god he was screaming for our help a fuck in the anyway we were blowing chunks out of the target round after round didn't do jack shit i almost lost it when it started data expunged him dr redacted that's when you ordered the use of in papers or heard moving at forehead launcher captain redacted redacted an anti-tank gun started carrying it ever since scp redacted got loose i've seen those tear through tanks like tissue paper did the same thing to the target dr redacted there was significant damage to scp 96 captain redacted redacted it didn't even fucking flinch it kept tearing apart my squad but with half of its torso gone he draws a large half circle across his torso dr redacted but it was taking damage captain redacted redacted if it was it wasn't showing it it must have lost all its organs all its blood but it didn't acknowledge any of it its bone structure wasn't hurt at all though it kept tearing my squad apart dr redacted so no actual structural damage how many rounds would you say were fired at scp 96 captain redacted redacted at the least a thousand our door gunner kept his go 19 on it for at least 20 seconds 20 fucking seconds that's 650 caliber rounds pumped into the thing might as well been spitting at it dr redacted this is when zulu 9b arrived captain redacted redacted yeah and my squad was gone Zulu 9B managed to get the bag over its head, and it just sat down. We got it into the chopper and got it here. I don't know how I never saw its face. Maybe God or Buddha or whoever thought I should live. The jackass, Dr. Reed acted, we have obtained an artist's depiction of SCP-96's face. Would you like to view it? Captain Redacted Redacted, pauses you know, after hearing that thing's screams, and the screams of my men, I don't think I want to put a face to what I heard. No, just to no. know. Dr. Reed acted, all right. I believe we are done here. Thank you, Captain. Chairs are heard moving, and footsteps leave the room. Captain Rhett. Redacted Redacted is confirmed to have left interview room 22. Dr. Redacted, let this be on record that I am formally requesting SCP-96 be terminated as soon as possible.